Hey, 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 folks, how's it going? It is Matt, and it is, what is it already? It's hump day, it is Wild Wednesday already, it's hard to believe, it's, the week is just flying by, it's a uh, happy New Year's, by the way, it is now officially January 1st, 2020, uh, uh, hopefully you guys have some great resolutions and you follow through. Uh, I haven't really made one for this year, but I will, uh, let you know it is the anniversary of my fifth year of being alcohol free. Um, uh, it has been a long, arduous r ride and I thank everybody who's been here for me, including my mother, uh, my fiance Katie and, and, uh, uh, my, my father Scott. You guys have always been there for me and been super supportive and and I love you for it. Thank you very much. Um now, on to today's movie, folks. Today's movie is a fun one. It's it's I di haven't see, I didn't see it for the very first or I saw it for the very first time the other day and excuse me. Uh I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was a very fun movie. It had some awesome gore. Uh it had a body count of a 100 and 39 is what I I remember seeing on there. That's what it said it was at the very end. And you know what? It very well could be because it had an extreme... It definitely had a lot of killing in it. it. Like, boom, 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 boom. Like, after one, after another, after another. Four or five at a time, you know. It, it was just... It was a, a bloodbath. But it was an awesome bloodbath. It was uh, very, very well done. Uh, this is from 1997. Uh, it's not rated, which, uh, do, 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 does my copy say that? I don't, I believe it's not rated. But it's, yeah, there's no rating on here. Yeah, I don't see one. But it's not rated, running about an hour and 46 minutes-ish. There we go. Had a little piece of my mustache go into my into my mouth that's always fun that's the one joy of having facial hair is getting it in your mouth once in a while it's just no fun <laughs> uh this stars andrew streel uh christopher stacy ellie woman anka Favre, uh fidelis atuma and olaf eatenbach who also directed by mr olaf eatenbach who plays matthias in this and this is none other than premutos the lord of the living dead i hate this cover art it is the ugliest thing uh, it does not do this film any justice whatsoever um the uh, uh, foreign releases for this, uh, the cover art is so much better and much more appealing than, than this one is here. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, Shakarama did just uh, an ugly, piss-poor job with that. Uh, they did release an awesome film. This is, like I said, this is from Shakarama. It is the uh, uh, DVD. Let me zoom it in there. That's yours. Special features, contents at a glance, as it says there. Uh, it is a standard issue DVD, which I have, I kind of chuckle at the DVD. It says Shakarama up here in, in bold lettering and then Lord of the Living Dead. But it doesn't say anything about Premutos on there, which is very, very weird. Um, and it's got a little, nice little, little, small little booklet. Um, whoop. Slipped right out of my paws there. Nice small little booklet that it came with. Uh, very, very neat. Uh, here's uh, uh, Matthias' father. He is the best character in the whole movie. He rocks this chainsaw at one point, and it is so badass. Like, how could you s say that's not cool from with anything with a guy with a chainsaw mowing down zombies? That just sounds like an awesome time all the way around. <laughs> I know, Kyle, you'll like a, a, a nothing but a zombie movie with a guy in a chainsaw mowing him down. I know you'd dig that. That's your that's your flavor. Um, but uh, uh, back to the today's movie. What is it about? It's about um, a, f a father and a son who they're doing some work outside. They find this book called Premutos, and they take it inside. It's a very Necronomicon-ish, uh, Evil Dead type type story. With that, they bring it in. He reads it, and it summons up uh, uh, the Lord of the Living Dead. 
and the Lord of the Living Dead is is uh, Premutos is the uh, the first fallen angel before Satan. They say uh, um, that's just in the story. How true is that? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I just I, I I didn't go. I'm not here to to uh, study study that kind of stuff. I'm here to talk about movies. Yes, yes, yes. But um, he died. He is uh, resurrected throughout throughout history. Through the uh, death of his son, and his son is reincarnated at, throughout history in different places, different times, uh, uh, different people, but still looks the exact same. And he's, Matthias still always looks like Matthias, and he always is um, either he's always brutally killed in each and every uh, segment of that. Like he, at one point, there's in, they're in uh, I want to say World War Two. They're in uh, Scotland during during the like twelve ninety four or something like that. They go they jump around through a lot of different uh, uh, dec decades, uh, uh, centuries, and and really uh, um, get they delve deep into the backstory of Premutos and his son Matthias, which is very very nice. Uh, I would like a, a little more action from the dad. The dad was my favorite character, even though you do um, the the final uh, segment, the the last twenty minutes of the film. He's in the entire thing, and he is just badass, a zombie killing fool left and right. And then we, you got um, oh shoot, I forget what the other guy's name is, but um, uh, they he was kind of a. Uh, uh, a uh, uh, beaten spouse, like his his girlfriend or wife, whatever she was that was there, was a huge uh, see you next Tuesday, and she uh, uh, was to the point to where she was flirting and wanting to have have uh, sexual relations with another man that was there at the uh, uh, party, which is just ridiculous to do, like. Like in the first place, don't cheat. Second place, um, uh, why right there in front of your husband? That's pretty whack, you know. I mean, that's hurtful stuff, you know. That's that's the kind of things that that uh, uh, nightmares are made of, you know. Uh, um, and so he's resurrected throughout time, Mister Matthias. You have his father, who is a badass zombie killer, who has like a million and one uh, firearms in his house. Like, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I want to be there. You know, they have everything that you need. It's it's pretty pretty dope. Um, now, uh, uh, I don't want to give a whole lot more on the story because it, it, Olaf Eatenbach. His stories usually don't have any crazy twists and turns in it, which is good because it doesn't really um, fit the agenda of his films. It's just not what is there, you know. It's it, the, his films are very straightforward, uh, um, balls to the wall gore, uh, usually nice fast tempo, uh, nothing that's that's too um, uh, repetitive or slow. It, it does get a little, like, I can see how some people would get, get feel the uh, zombies or rep death at the end or repetitive, that whole kill sequence. But I honestly, I love it. I think it's badass. Um, it shows the, uh, the tenacity of everyone that was there to uh, overcome the uh, zombie horde, which was very, very cool in my opinion. Um, now, what would I, how would I rate this bad boy? Technically, it, it really is kind of a mess. There's there's plot holes. There's there's um uh I wouldn't know. I I don't know if I'd say continuity errors. There's not really anything of that. It's very um very uh, uh low budget, and you can really tell that it is, and it doesn't really affect it because it's so. It delivers so well. So I'm honestly, I'm going to give it a three right in the middle of the road for for uh, the technical side. Uh, um, it's nothing that's going to blow your socks off, as I like to say. Uh, uh, now, on to uh, entertainment side. This thing is a freaking smorgasbord of gore. It's awesome. So I, I loved the story. Uh, like I said, it's a nice, fast tempo 
it keeps you uh, uh, stuck. In, like it keeps you entranced into the whole movie from beginning to end. It never once gets boring. I felt like um, very very cool. Uh, so I'm gonna give it. Guess what, guys? This one's gonna get not a one, not a two, not a three. Four. It's gonna get a four on that side. So we're gonna give it a four, three and a four. So it's got a whopping seven over uh, overall. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down. So yeah, a whopping seven. Very cool. Um, pretty good for for a uh, a movie that I had never seen before, and that I I'd heard lots of great things. Nothing really bad about it. Um. It's Olaf Edenbach. Usually, you know what you're getting into when you, when you watch his films. I have a number of them, and we'll get the rest of his catalog because I really really enjoy his stuff. He's very very cool. Um, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I'm rolling up on that 11 minute mark. Um, I'm got things to do today. I think I'm not sure. It's Wednesday. Uh, seems it's New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I think I might take a nap. <laughs> hopefully you guys aren't too hungover you can watch this whenever you feel like and hopefully my face isn't too annoying for you today as always like share subscribe uh, I love your faces uh, please uh, have a great time hopefully you had a nice safe New Year's